You up to no good? Alright, I'll leave you be. So, still been working really hard on this video. Um, just the style of video that it is, is, I've already said this time or two, but it's very uh, heavy on editing. I was hoping I could get away with not doing this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to end up rotoscoping much of the video, which means you need to go frame by frame, and just, like, the clip I'm working on right now is five seconds long. That probably takes about ten minutes just to get that five second clip ready. Um, but it's gonna make it look awesome. Alright, it is Monday morning, and, uh, sold, like, nine or ten things over the weekend so not too slow um, most of them were around like the twenty thirty dollar range so uh, I guess a little bit slower than I would like but uh, still doable been so busy uh, working on the editing the music video that I just haven't had time to or haven't made time to, uh, to list and everything and uh, so I'm gonna do a little bit of that today take a break from editing um, so here's what I sold this is a Max Golden Helmet, a powder actuated tool. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Uh, it's, it's a bandit tool. I think it's to uh, band together <laughs> something. Pilot refills. IKEA legs. USS Rogers hat. Pretty worn. A felt LL Bean hat. A Motorola uh, CB microphone. A Philips electric toothbrush charger and holder, an electric heated blanket controller, a Bose iPhone uh, iPod 4 dock, and I think that's it for today. In two days it's going to be Haley's birthday and I want to build her a uh, like a like a ring shelf hook thing like rings for your hand. Uh, she's never really been like a jewelry girl or anything like that but maybe about six months ago she started to pick up a few rings and I, don't know, I had this idea for like a ring tree thing I don't know you'll see I need to glue them together. I'm going to use wood glue, and because I do not have clamps, I'm also going to use a little bit of super glue. And in place of clamps, I'm just going to wrap it in a bunch of rubber bands. I already kind of lined up these four. I think they fit together well. Ooh, that's really on there. <clears throat> Got a little glue slug in there. I should not have put any glue on that side. Now I gotta seek out the right rubber bands. That one might even be too big. Nope, that'll work. A lot of professional woodworkers will tell you that you don't want to use rubber bands and that you need to stick with clamps, but they're wrong. Rubber bands actually make the wood stronger and make the final product prettier. And then if you notice that you strum these from left to right, it actually does the happy birthday song. All right, so while the glue's drying, I have a few days worth of uh, stuff that I need to clean and get pictures of um, just from the outlet. It's kind of letting it build up a little bit just because I've been spending so much time editing the video. Um, 
I don't really find anything good. They're all... There might have been an item or two, but overall it's just like the 20 to $40 items. Which sell and, and add up, but... It's a little after midnight, and uh, Haley is now in bed. Um, the thing I'm making for her, um, I'm pretty sure the, the wood glue is dried, so I'm going to go ahead and start sanding it now. If I get it completely sanded to where I want it tonight, I'll go ahead and stain it as well. But, uh, yeah, do you want to see what my toe looks like now that it's uh, been three weeks? It's pretty gross. It is uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, Haley is off at the farmer's market right now, so I have a little bit more time to work on this project. Um, i got to uh, route out the section that I'm going to put the scissors into, and I've never done this before, so I guess if I mess up too bad, I can just kind of scratch that idea and flip the thing around and use the other side. <laughs> itself to this, uh, but I'm, I, I can't remove it. So I got some pliers, I got a hammer, and uh... Got it. It's not the cleanest job. I'm gonna go get some wood filler. Um, and I still need to go a little deeper. I don't know if I had this one quite in focus. But it's, it's getting there. It says it cures in two to three hours, so I'm just gonna wait two to three hours and then do the next step of filling it in with the wood putty and staining or sanding and staining. Uh, but it's getting close. It looks all right. All right, exactly what you think. Wood putty. It smells like my grandpa. And mixing up real nice. partially in. We'll uh, bust off pieces of this. So it's finished. I, I don't know, like I said earlier, it looks good in like a, a shitty way. Like it's supposed to be rustic and worn and She's going to look at it and not know what it is.